In 2 Chronicles chapter 6, verse 41, the word of God says, Now therefore arise, Yahweh God. He said, Please arise. Now therefore, arise, Yahweh God, arise. Arise with the ark of your strength, arise. Arise to rescue me. Please arise to fight my battles. Arise to change everything. Arise, O Lord, to give me victory. Today, dear child of God, God would arise on your behalf. Oh my God. God would arise on your behalf and it will cause everything to change for the best. Ah, God will cause everything to change in your favor because he is rising up for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You see, the psalmist knew that God was the one that would show up for him every time. He knew that God would be the one rising up to fight for him and so he would see that God was his shield, God was his sword. He said God was his fortress. He says God was his strength. Today, God will make it happen. Yahweh God would arise for you. He would arise for you with the arm of his strength. With the might of his strength, he would arise for you and it would change everything for the best in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, God's word says, let God arise by God. He said, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered by God. He said, let God arise and change everything. And God arose and changed everything. Today, God will arise for you and change everything. God will arise for you and make sure those enemies, yes, every of those ones who have been manipulating your life, every of those ones who have been doing, ev- who have been doing everything to see that you are crushed, they will see that God is arising for you to give you victories in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You see in Exodus 14 verse 14, the word of God says, The Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. He says, The Lord will fight for you. You will be silent. He says, The Lord will fight for you. Yes, he will fight for you and you will be calm to see how he brought you to victory. Dear child of God, on this very day, I want to assure you that God would arise for you. He would arise to fight your battles. He would arise to discomfit all of your enemies. He would arise to see that you are settled in everything you have been believing in Him for. Yes, He would arise to see that everything that you deserve, you are going to get in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, let God arise and let His enemies be scattered. And as he arose, the enemies began to scatter. Dear child of God, they may have come, yes, come to destroy. They may be coming your way to see that you are destroyed. But yes, they will flee in seven ways, the scripture says. They will flee from your face in the mighty name of Jesus. Because God is arising for you. God is arising for you to change everything. God is arising for you to say to you. God is arising for you to see that you are uplifted. God is arising for you to see that nothing would ever stop you from testifying. And so shall it be. You will testify because the Lord had promised to make sure that your testimony, nothing will steal. Yes, no one will be able to steal your testimonies. And so shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 68 verse 1 says, Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. My God. He said, As smoke is driven, as smoke is driven far away, he says, So drive them away. He says, As wask melted, he says, Before the fire as they melt, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. All of these things came when God arose. All of these things began to happen when God arose. God would arise for you today. And it would drive away every of those things that want to see you crushed and destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
You see, when God made sure that every of those things he arose for was settled, he made sure God's people also had reasons to rejoice. Dear child of God, God would arise for you today and change that situation. And then you would have reasons to have exceeding joy in you in the name of Jesus. You would praise him. You would dance and celebrate because the Lord settled you, because the Lord arose for you and settled you. He says, but let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. This happened after God arose in Psalm 68 verse 3. Yes, they had reasons to sing. He says, sing unto God. Sing praises to his name. I told him that right there upon the heavens by his name. He says, jar and rejoice before him. He says, I told him. Dear child of God, this very day, you would have more than enough reasons to praise God. You would have more than enough reasons to appreciate God. You would have more than enough reasons to be thankful to God. Because God arose for you and fought your battles. Because God arose for you and made sure everything around your life that ought to be fixed was fixed. He says, now therefore arise Yahweh God in your resting place. He says, you and the ark of your strength. Dear child of God, today you see the might of God. The might of God that rescues and saves. You see it come to your direction and you shall be saved. You shall be rescued in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Is there an aspect in your life today that you are saying to God, please arise and make yourself visible. Please arise and do this and make it known that you did it. Because only you deserve the praises for the state. Because only you deserve the honor for the state. Dear child of God, I want to assure you, as you speak these words to God, as you express your heart to Him, you will see Him rise up for you and make sure you have every reason to testify. You will see Him rise up for you and He will fix everything that ought to be fixed in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The psalmist said in Psalms 20 verse 6, now I know, my God. He says, now I know that Yahweh saves his anointed. He said he will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand, my God. He says, now I know that Yahweh, that my God, saves his anointed. Dear child of God, you are the anointed of God. And the Lord has sent a message. He said, touch not my anointed. He said, do my prophet no harm. You have been called of God. You are the anointed of God. Dear child of God, to your family, you have been called. To you, this generation, you have been called. To your clan, you have been called. And the Lord is saying, you will not be touched. The Lord is saying, you cannot be touched. The Lord is saying, he will keep you safe from evil. He will keep you safe from harm. He will keep you safe from everything. Yes, the malicious plans of the enemies, the evil plans of the enemies to destroy you. The Lord is saying, he will keep you safe. David came to that point that he was a witness. He said, yes, now I know. Now I know. Because the Lord showed him supernatural strength. Because the Lord helped him, showed him mercy and saved him. He knew that now God saves his anointed. He knew that God was committed to keeping to his word. You see, when the Lord says, everything he says will not return back until they fulfill the mission that they were sent. And part of the things that were said was that you shall not be touched, was that you shall be protected, was that you shall be preserved in the days of evil. Yes, you may go through the valleys of destruction. You may go through the valleys of the shadows of death. But he's saying, don't be afraid. Fear no evil, for they will not come near you, for they will not come near your dwelling tent, near your dwelling places, near the places of your work, near the places where your family lives. Dear child of God, he said, you shall be protected. He said, you shall be preserved. And David had this testimony. He said, now I know that Yahweh saves. Now I know that Yahweh rescues. Now I know that Yahweh delivers. He said, now I know that Yahweh comes through for his people. Dear child of God, you will know this as well. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, David had faced 
stress. David was faced with situations. He had a near-death experience, the child of God, but the Lord saved him. Yes, he must have given up at some point. He may have thought, yes, something is going to happen to me. He may have thought at some point in time that now the enemies will catch up with me. But God came through, even in those times that he couldn't do anything anymore. Even in the times of his weaknesses, dear child of God. Even in the times I couldn't fight back. Even in the time that the enemies were drawing closer to him. God came through and rescued him. And so he would say, now I know that Yahweh saves his anointed. Dear child of God, you would have testimonies upon testimonies. You would be able to say, indeed, God is true to his word. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will see all that may have happened to you. And you will say, despite it all, I am still standing. Dear child of God, you will say, despite it all, I am still here. Yes, they have done everything to bring you down. They have sent threats your way. Night and day, you have seen these things. Dear child of God, they have tried to put your light off. They have tried to do everything to destroy you. They have sent people. Yes, they have sent people to destroy you. But none of them could ever succeed because you are the anointed of God. He said, touch not my anointed. He says, do my prophet no harm. And all those who tried, my God, what the Lord did to them, they couldn't recover. He dealt with them a terrible blow. Dear child of God, every of those people who are tempting your life, who are saying you will know no peace in your life, who are saying you will be destroyed, receive the word of God today, that if they refuse to stop, if they refuse to repent, everything they tend against your life, everything they are planning, every of their evil intentions would return back to their head in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Have strength. Receive the strength of the Lord because it will come through for you. He said it will come through for you every morning. He said it will rescue you. He said it will save you. He said it will deliver you. And he said it will keep you safe from evil. Believe the word of God. He said it will make you strong every day. It will save you when trouble happens. Dear child of God, this is the word of God. It says, when trouble happens, I will save you. I will make you strong. Nothing shall by any means hurt you, dear child of God. It says, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Believe the word of God. If he said he would do this, he would do it. If he said nothing, nothing whatsoever shall by any means hurt you, dear child of God. It doesn't matter the weapons of war that the enemies are using to contend against your life, to fight against you, they will not succeed. He said, no weapon, no weapon fashioned, no weapon formed, no weapon created against my own would ever succeed. Dear child of God, this is how the Lord will continually keep you safe. This is how the Lord will keep you safe night and day. This is how you would have your testimonies and you would indeed say, Oh Lord, my God, the God of my salvation, thank you for being my strength in the time of trouble. You see, the psalmist in Psalm 37 verse 39 says, But the Lord is the Savior of the upright. He said, He is their strength in the time of trouble. Dear child of God, the Lord is the Savior of the upright. Yes, you have done everything well. You have kept your lane. You have done everything you needed to do. You have kept the laws of God. You have kept the instructions of God. Yet, they are still fighting you. Yet, they are still contending against you. You have not done anything to them, dear child of God. You are wondering why they hate you this much. Know this today, dear child of God. He said he is the strength of those who are upright. He said he will keep them in the time of trouble. And yours will not be an exception, dear child of God. Yours will not be an exception in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord God of heaven that you serve, he will preserve you. He will keep you safe. And he will not allow you to be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, they walk through the valleys of the shadows of death. But he gave them the heart to stand, the courage to succeed. He said, do not be afraid, for they will not succeed. He said, those you see today, dear child of God. He said, you will see no more. The enemies you see today, those pursuing you, the Lord, would arise against them. He will contend against them. He will fight against them until they are all destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord arose against them and he took up their chariot wheels. Dear child of God, they were pursuing God's people to destroy them but instead they were the ones that were destroyed all those who are chasing you all those who are fighting you all those who are pursuing you to put you down to destroy you to take care of before time 
your child of God, they will be the one destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Such as God preserve these people and make sure that the enemies could not hurt them and make sure the enemies could not destroy them and make sure that the enemies did not have the last laugh. So dear child of God, your story will be, they will not have the last laugh. They will not gloat over you in the mighty name of Jesus. David went to God. He says, do not let them gloat over me. Do not let them rejoice over me. The God of my salvation, please come through for me. Come to my rescue. And the Lord did. Came to his rescue. He delivered him. The enemies could not gloat over him. Dear child of God, the enemies could not exact their evils upon him. So would the Lord do for you in the mighty name of Jesus. You have saw the face of God. He said he would deliver you. He will deliver you from the hands of the enemy. He said he will deliver you from the house of bondage. Believe the word of God. He said they will not be able to succeed against your life. He said you shall not die. He said you will live. Dear child of God, he said no part of your body shall be destroyed. Yes, you will not experience any hurt in your bodies. In the mighty name of Jesus, all of their attempts against your life shall fail. In the mighty name of Jesus, dear child of God, I repeat, all of their attempts against your life would fail because the Lord have said that he will keep you, that you are his anointed. He says, now I know, now I know. He had his testimony because he saw what the Lord did and then he confirmed that God saves his anointed. Dear child of God, you will be able to have these confirmations as well, that God saves his anointed, that God preserves his own and God do not allow them to see destruction. You shall testify of the mercies of God, of the goodness of God, and of the graciousness of God in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, Yahweh, be gracious to us. We have waited for you. Be our strength every morning, every day. He says, make us strong. Be our strength. Save us in the time of trouble. When trouble comes on our way, when trouble comes on our path, deliver us. And God did just that. Dear child of God, the Lord will deliver you continually in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, touch not, man anointed, and do my prophet no harm. No harm will come near your dwelling, dear child of God. No harm will come near your tent in the mighty name of Jesus. Your home is preserved. Your businesses are preserved. Dear child of God, your loved ones are preserved in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When destruction is looming, when the enemies are planning to attack, Dear child of God, you shall be covered. You will not be seen in the mighty name of Jesus. Where destruction is about to happen, dear child of God, the Lord will relocate you from there. The Lord will make sure that you will not be touched. The Lord will make sure that you will not be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. If he said it, it means he will do it. It means he will bring it to pass. So do not be afraid of what they are doing. Do not be afraid of their threatenings. Dear child of God, do not be afraid of all they said that he would do against you. If God is with you, dear child of God, if God is for you, it doesn't matter those who are against you, they would not succeed. And I know that God is for you. So he will give you your testimony. And then you will say like David, now I know that Yahweh saves his anointed, that Yahweh delivers his own. He answers from his holy place. He answers from heaven. And he sends his saving strength. He sends his right hand to deliver his home. Dear child of God, I want you to know that God knows the area of your life that it needs to arise. And this very day is going to arise for you and make sure you would have an instant testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you'll be wondering how it happened. You'll be thinking, how could this have been possible? And then you will say, because God arose and did it. Because God arose and settled it. What no man could do, God arose for me and did it. What no human being on the face of the earth could settle, God arose to settle it. Yes, the things I could not tell people about, God arose and fixed it. The things I could not go to people to share because of the things he will bring, because of the stigma he will bring upon me, God arose and settled it today. This will continually be your prayer because you will keep saying, God, please arise for me. You see, when God arises for you, he comes in many dimensions. He shows himself in many ways. 
And today I decree and I declare that God will show himself strong and mighty in your life as he's arising for you. You shall be lifted as well in the mighty name of Jesus. You may be down right now. It may look like you are drowning. It may look like you are sinking. But as God is arising for you today, so shall you be lifted. So shall you be receiving the elevation that could only come from God and God alone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please believe God. Please believe the one who wants to lift you up. Please believe the God who knows how to settle every soul. Please believe the God who knows how to bring blessings to pass. Who knows how to bring covenants and promises he had made to pass. Believe that he will do it. And you will see him arise for you and for your family. And turn everything around for the best. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He says, now, therefore, arise, Yahweh God. Yahweh God would arise for you today. And it would change everything that you are saying. God, please come through for me. Please come and change these things. Please come and fix them up. Please come and turn my story around. And you will say, God rose for me and is still standing with me. These will be your testimony in the mighty name of jesus christ your prayers will be answered dear child of god every of your petition every of your supplications to god they shall be answered they are already answered and you will testify of how the lord made it happen in jesus mighty name amen it is well with you beloved god bless you and shalom